What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. So I thought I would try something a little bit different in today's video. Yesterday, I had to drop my car off for a slight repair. I noticed there was like a little rattle when I was driving. So I figured I would just drop it off. But anyway, while we were out there in Tampa, I thought it would be a cool idea just to go hit some thrift stores while the car was in the shop. So what I thought would be kind of cool is I've actually already edited out the footage from yesterday. But what I thought would be cool is just kind of flashing back and forth. I thought I could add some narration to the video. So I'm actually going to watch the footage back on my computer and I'm just going to flash back to the studio when there's something important to tell you just to kind of mix things up a little bit and I feel like doing it this way I can add a lot more value and a lot more information to the video so if you like me doing it this way let me know in the comment section but yeah let's flash over to the footage the first stop that I went to was a Goodwill So I love, love, love it when Goodwill employees bring out the bins that they haven't put the shoes out on the shelf yet. I love to look through these bins. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll grab like a separate shopping cart and I'll just put the shoes that I'm not interested in in the shopping cart just so it's easier to clear out the bins and look through all the shoes. I didn't do that this time. I just kind of like searched through the shoes and piled them on top of each other. But when these bins come out, I highly recommend digging through them. Sometimes you have to dig to find the good stuff. So, you know, don't just hit the shelves. When the bins come out or the new racks come out, make sure you go and check those first. So I found this pretty cool pair of Nikes. I'd actually never seen this pair before, so but they looked unique. They looked unique and I thought that they might be worth some money. They're only $10. Yeah, so I thought this was just like a really interesting pair of Nikes. I'd never seen this pair before, so whenever there's something unique, I like to at least look it up. So in this case, the model number is CD6888-102. So I looked up the model number, I looked at comps and they seemed good to me. So. Again, 10 bucks on this pair. I thought that was a fair buy. Good condition shoe too. I also found a pair of Tory Burch sandals in there and they were $6. But unfortunately, when I took a closer look at those Tories, they were completely messed up. The back of them was all coming apart. So I ended up leaving them behind. And then down at the very bottom of the bin, I found a nice pair of Nike Hirache shoes. Um, this is a good brand, good model. We've sold them before. If they're in good condition, they seem to sell well for us. So then I went to the Goodwill shelves and I ended up finding another pair of good Hirachi shoes. $10 on this pair and a good colorway, kind of unique looking, good size. So I ended up picking those up. So here's those Nikes. Like I said, they were only $10 and I always like to look at the condition. I'll take a look around the shoes. I'll kind of like flex the soles just to make sure that they're not like coming apart or anything. I want to make sure that the tread on the bottom is still pretty much intact. We try to buy shoes in decent condition. I don't mind dirt, like the dirt on the soles. We can use a magic eraser and get that off pretty easily, but we don't want shoes with any like heel wear or any damage to the shoes because they'll just sit forever. They won't sell. People don't really like to buy used shoes like that. But yeah, this pair is in good condition and the model of this pair is AT5017-001 and they're a men's size nine US. So yeah, I was happy with that find. Then I spotted a good bread and butter item for us. Cole Haan, especially the zero grand ones sell great for us. I mean, if they're a good size and they're in good condition, the price has gone down a little bit on them, but good size, good condition. They're still gonna sell for 35 to $40 for us. We just have to wait for the right buyer. So for $9 into 3540, I don't mind that. And then same thing, I found another pair, different color, but same size. So in a case like that, different color, same size, we can actually just list these shoes together. So two pairs for one price on eBay, give the buyer a bit of a discount, give us a bit of a discount because we don't have to pay as much in shipping, shipping out two separate pairs. And then they'll both just sell together. Everybody wins nine bucks a piece. So call it $20 for two pairs of shoes. And then again, we'll list them for one price, probably do free shipping on both of them. It's easy just to pack these up and put them in a priority box and ship them out. So then I saw what is usually always fake Yeezys, which again was the case in this case. These are always at the thrift store, but then- Are those Yeezys? Oh, are these real? These look real. Yeah, so that was the first time that I've ever found genuine Yeezy shoes at the thrift store and they were only $8. And I put them up on our Instagram account just to see if anybody wanted them. That way I can like avoid eBay fees so I can offer a better deal on them. So I was asking $200 on that pair, but I ended up taking an offer of $140. And I actually don't even have the shoes with me today because we've already shipped them out to the buyer. So $8 into $140 in just a few hours. Pretty cool flip on those Yeezys. And for those of you asking how I authenticated them, 
I was 99% sure that they were real just by the look of them. Everything was there. All the markings were there. Felt like good, high quality material. I've seen quite a few fake versions of Yeezys. And in this case, I was super, super confident that these ones were real. But there are authentication websites and authentication apps where you can pay a small fee and shoot them pictures of the item. And they'll come back to you with like a check mark. This one is authentic. So if you ever do find like hype shoes or something like that, and you want to get them authenticated, those apps are out there if you want to be 100% certain. So the next thing I did at this Goodwill is I went over to the video game section and I just started scanning things on our Amazon seller app. It's really easy to just scan stuff from that Amazon seller app on your phone. And when it comes to stuff like video games, I'll just go over and scan everything just to make sure that there's, you know, there's no items that I could buy for a couple bucks and flip for. Usually when we're buying stuff like that, we want to be able to flip it on Amazon for at least like 25 bucks. But video games are super easy to sell on Amazon. So if there's a section at your Goodwill or a section at your thrift store, just go over there and scan them up and see if you can find anything. I also love looking through like the little knickknack section in the thrift store, the stuff that no one really looks at. It's all piled together because you never know what you're going to find. So like I found this little Beats pill there and I know that these can sell for decent money. Um, this one was only $10. Didn't have the cord with it, but you know, for 10 bucks, I think it's worth the risk. And I believe these have a universal charging port at the back and we have a bunch of loose wires hanging around at the warehouse. So later on, I'll just plug it in, make sure that it's charging up nicely and make sure that it's working. And then if it is, we'll get it listed. If it's not, we'll just, you know, we'll have to toss it. There's an alley, there's an alley, there's an alley. And our little meatball. Hi. Hey babe, Allie's here. How's yeah. it going? It's okay. So how about the Musies? Yeah, right, wow. Fine of the day, for sure. They're definitely real. Well, I'm like 99% sure that they're real. Good size, size nine. And I already put them up on Instagram. People are asking how much on them. I'm saying 200 bucks. So. First time I've ever found Yeezys at a thrift store. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even know what to say. What else is in there? Shoes? Just a bunch of shoes, really good shoes. shoes? Yeah. Whoa. I know I'm hairy. Wow. Mm. Uh, let's go to another th thrift store. Okay, let's go. Yeah. I saw it last time and it's 50% off. So nice. It's only $15. It's a cool design. Yeah, and they have a really nice cut to them. For you? Yeah. $15? It's about how much they're going for on eBay. Really? $20. Oh, wow. Yeah. So cheap. Yeah. So I love selling North Face Summit Series jackets. They usually do very well for us, especially the ones that have the Gore-Tex in them too. So you look on the sleeve for that Gore-Tex hit. This one was a really, really good jacket. I absolutely would have picked it up if it was like $15 or under. Unfortunately, they wanted $30 for it, which that's just a bit too much for this particular jacket. I also love looking in the bag section because I feel like it's an overlooked category. Not a lot of people are looking in there. And I saw what looked like a very high quality backpack. I honestly had never seen this brand before. It's called Wandred but just by the materials and how it's built, everything's waterproof. There's a bunch of different pockets. The back is padded. Like it's just, you can tell it's a very, very high quality backpack. $15 price tag on this. And I just looked it up on eBay, even though I didn't know the brand, I just looked it up on eBay and the sold comps looked amazing on it. So I ended up picking it up. And here's the cool thing. I put just a short video of the backpack on our Instagram story again today. And probably within like a minute, someone hit me up, asked me how much I wanted for it. I gave them what I figured was a really good discount asked 125 dollars for it no questions asked they've already sent the money so that backpack is already sold another brand i love selling patagonia really good jacket but the price was way too much for this one they wanted 60 dollars for it and then give me your thoughts on this oh. this is it's 15 dollars oh it's a little mickey uh whistling teapot i looked at oh there's a little oh nope man that's pretty bad yeah, pass on that. It's a tough one because there's actually really high sold comps on it. I think that's enough damage to really cause an issue though. For fifteen dollars. Yeah, but even if it was. It's oh, it's dollars. four. I thought it was fourteen. All right, for five bucks, it's worth the gamble. Absolutely. Yeah, I think we should gamble because even if it sells for fifty dollars. Yeah, and the rest of it's in great condition. It's just that little spot yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's get it. Any cool Funkos? Oh, oh there's see. a bunch of them. They're so easy to just scan. John Wall. Oh, look, babe. Horizon Zero Dawn. Big oh, yeah. 
Crash Bandicoot. Anything that says exclusive. Yeah. Oh my gosh, babe, it's Aki Aki. Crash oh, Bandicoot. That's awesome. That one's so cool. Boy, oh, that one's 15. These are $15? Whoa, they must have looked these up. Yeah. Oh my god, the dinosaur from Jurassic Park. These are fun. Yeah, they probably did look them all up. Cuphead. But there's a lot of exclusive ones in here. These are cool. So, good day so far. It's already like a $400 day, easy. Yes. With the with the Yeezys and the shoes and the backpack and yeah, I mean. Easy, easy. Hey, let us know if you think that Mickey Mouse kettle was a good buy. For five dollars, let's say with the damage, we sell it maybe for fifty bucks. If it sells for fifty, it's definitely worth it for yeah. sure. But I just don't know with that damage. I'm not a kettle connoisseur, so I don't know how that affects the value. Yeah. Sometimes it's worth a shot. I've really been enjoying like being super picky at the thrift store and focusing on a higher uh, higher sales price items even if you have to pay up right so i don't mind paying 50 bucks for something if we can sell it for 100 that's true you know what i mean yeah. i would rather do that than buy something for two dollars to sell it for 15. You know i like I mean? a customer on ebay that's buying a hundred dollar item opposed to a customer on ebay buying a twenty dollar item Absolutely. the customer is one of the main reasons we stopped selling twenty dollar items even if we could get it for one dollar yeah because they have not been pleasurable to deal with for us for the most part and people spending more money they know what they what they're getting like they what know they exactly want. what they want they've been looking for it it's more rare yeah. so they're happier with the item yeah you yeah know. that's a tip focus on getting your average sales price a little bit higher even if you have to spend a bit more money and overall you might have a better experience with that customer absolutely true so a couple more thrift stores on the road we're gonna go check those out too. the next place we went was the salvation army family store i walked through the store i tried to look through all the t-shirts and all the clothing and stuff i really didn't find too much in the way of apparel i found one untucked shirt which i thought was funny because we found all those untuckets the other day but this one was actually fairly priced it was only eight dollars but i ended up leaving it behind anyway for eight dollars i also came across a really nice pair of solomon brand shoes solomon brand does very well for us unfortunately this pair had issues with the Toe. the toe was coming apart and then also the heel so there was bad heel wear and that's a big time no-no when it comes to running shoes you don't want any heel wear i love these that's things nice so though. much they're priced on the outside so. oh there it is set of seven for only seven dollars so it comes out to a dollar a ball these are cool i wish they were different colors though yeah i know but there's only one of this listed okay twenty dollars for one of the bowl like people buy them. Look at the yeah, sell through yeah, on yeah. them. Look, there's only a couple listed. Okay. And did you see how many were sold? Do but filter sold on the on that one? It's oh, not yeah. super often, but I mean like there's still enough sales. Yeah. So I don't know. What do you think? Seven. Again, it's not a huge dollars. gamble. It's Seven not a dollars. Big gamble. If we sold them. Pictures would be so easy. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad to ship. Pick them up. Let's get them. Oh my god. Come on. Let's no. do it. Come on, babe. Don't say no. Look at these. These are amazing. Why They're would stolen. you ever need so many? No, babe. No, babe. No, babe. No. Babe, no. Please, babe. Babe. <laughs> please, babe. Are they going to make you that happy? No, look at them. They're amazing. I love this graphic. Okay. If they make you happy, then yes. They're the perfect espresso cup size. Okay. Love you too. Really? You know? yes. I guess if you want them. I want them. And then right before we left the store, I noticed one of the employees putting out new shoes. So I kind of followed her around a bit. There were a bunch of ladies like kind of crowded around the shopping carts waiting for these shoes to come out. So I kind of hung back. I saw a pair of what looked like on cloud shoes. So that's the pair I was waiting for. Um, but I finally got them and they were in very bad condition. So I left them behind. All right, this will be the last stop of the day. Community, community thrift store is the name of it. Uh, we found some stuff here before. We haven't been out here in a while, but sometimes, sometimes they have some good stuff. It is cool. It's so dirty. So it's a sewing machine. Yeah. God, that's so awesome. The base of it is really neat. It's beautiful. 
Spider is a brand that does very well for us. This windbreaker was in great condition and I probably should have picked it up. It was only $10, but I ended up leaving it. Um, but you know, that was probably a decent buy. If it was a larger XL, I definitely would have bought that. And then in the t-shirt section, I found this really cool 1992 USA basketball shirt and it was only $1.75. Every time I find Allie, she's holding new ornaments. Well, yeah, <laughs> they're cheap and I need them for the St. Patty's Day wreaths. Sweet. But I found some more of those pots. What? Oh, really? That's so funny. That's funny. Yeah. What'd you find? Tell me. Show I me found show. a 1992 Team USA basketball t-shirt. So that was our thrift journey yesterday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just to recap, sold that backpack already, paid $15 for it and sold it for $125. Sold the Yeezys already, paid $8 for those and sold them for $140. So I would say super, super successful thrift trip yesterday. It was awesome. We had a great time, found some cool stuff, made a little bit of money and got to make a cool video for you guys. So again, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor, guys and girls, hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe to the channel. We will see you on the next video. I'm Ryan Roots. Later guys, bye.